Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to watch this new dashboard video. We are extremely excited to finally bring this to market, bring this to our customers. We spent a lot of time speaking to our customers to build this because we wanted to make sure that we covered a lot of the data points, a lot of the KPIs that a field service company would care about on a daily basis. And you may know a lot of this data by heart, but putting it on a dashboard into a visual format where you can easily see it on a pie chart or a, a column chart or a combination of both really helps you visualize this data and better understand how you did in the past, how you're doing now, and how you might do in the future. Because knowing historical data can help you predict the future better. It can help you forecast, budget better, better plan your marketing spend. As a field service business owner or manager, you probably ask yourself on a regular basis, are my marketing dollars being spent well? Am I doing a good enough job creating loyal customers? Are my technicians effective and are they good brand ambassadors out in the field? Do we spend more time working or driving? Does more jobs mean more money? Are we collecting payments on time? And even more importantly, how are we doing compared to last week or last month or last quarter or last year? Again, knowing all this data and seeing it in graphical formats helps you better understand your business. And we really hope that you enjoy using this as much as we enjoy building it. Now, I'm just going to dive into a little bit of detail on a few of these widgets because a lot of them are self-explanatory and I'm not going to spend too much time um, explaining what you can see because that was kind of the whole point of it. Now, for example, if you look at your new customers widget, you can see, hey, we created 187 new customers last month, and that was 27% better than the month prior. Now, what about for the quarter? How did we do, how did we do last quarter? We had 100 or 501 customers, but we were a little under quarter over quarter. All right, is it seasonality? Probably so. Or is it something else? Now, what about the year? We can say last year. So last year, we actually, uh, we didn't do as well as we did in the year prior. Again, what could it possibly be? You can then overlay it with your heat map. You can then overlay it with your job averages. And you can then overlay it with your conversion ratios. So was it because we didn't convert as well? Or is it because of something else? Was it because we didn't have the right staff? Or maybe we didn't generate the right types of jobs for our staff at the time. Or maybe our marketing channels. We tried new marketing channels and they didn't perform as well as we had hoped. So again, all this data within, within just a few mouse clicks is a available to you. And you can easily see what your cash flow is going to look like. You can see what the payments are going to look like uh, and what the lineup is if you're doing a lot of financing or if it's growing quarter over quarter or year over year um, or is, is the credit card volume picking up and your check payments are going down. So again, all this data is available to you and you can personalize a lot of these widgets. You can move them around on the screen. You can personalize some of the statuses uh, for which your estimate data uh, conversion data is pulled. And so again, it, it's a lot of this information that you would care about on a daily basis available to you in one screen and we're going to be adding more widgets to this dashboard so feel free to suggest anything you'd like to see here we've got a couple of really cool things in the works that we're going to be rolling out soon uh, but I'm not going to try to sell you what I don't have yet so just stay tuned for more enjoy using this dashboard and please feel free to reach out with any questions or suggestions and once again we hope you enjoy using this dashboard we look forward to working with you